Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. So the other day, if you guys do not know Black China, a.k.a. Angela, she ended up going into the Wendy Williams show to basically spill the tea, honey. And I really did enjoy the interview. I liked the fact that nothing was off limits. She kept everything real concerning her, the Kardashians, how Tyga ended up getting with Kylie, how Rob is better in bed, how her and Rob plant the baby and everything else. So I, it was nice to see like this other side of Black China to get more information to fill in the details. Because again, for the most part, what people do here is speculation and commentary. So I'm glad she was able to tell her side of the story. So after she was on the Wendy Williams show, she decided to take Wendy Williams with her out partying. And so Wendy Williams went out and she had a really good time. Um, her son was also there. And so when she was talking about it on camera, she got really teary eyed and emotional. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And we were doing it to the music. <laughs> Everybody was so embarrassed in a fun way. You know what I mean? Like Kev looks at me like, look at mommy have fun, appropriate fun, but look at mommy have fun. And I'm like, look at my boy over there, you know, looking at his mom have fun. And I'm just saying, I'm not complaining or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, it's just like nice. It's, it's nice. Love you, I love you. Mom. All right, so you guys just saw what Wendy Williams had to say. Like I was staying on Instagram yesterday, I was super happy that Wendy Williams got herself out of that toxic relationship. You know, unfortunately, when you're in a relationship or a marriage with somebody who's toxic for a long time, it can take a toll on your self-esteem, on your being, and everything else. The fact that this woman is a multimillionaire and doesn't even go out, doesn't really hang out, doesn't really kick it like that, it says a lot. It shows, it shows how much control, you know, Kevin Hunter had over her. And it looks like we're seeing a new Wendy. She seems happier. She seems more relaxed. She seems like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders. And, you know, that's the thing about a relationship. They can either help to build you up, build up your confidence, your, you know, your self-worth, your bank account, all that stuff. You know, just you're supposed to build each other. The woman is supposed to be able to build her man and vice versa. And when a veer is left into toxicity, that same relationship can bring you all the way down. And... So I'm glad that Wendy is feeling better. I'm glad that Black China took her out. They look like they had a good time, you know, and I hope that everything continues to work out for Wendy because what she went through over the past few years has been very, very messed up. But I'm glad that she was able to, you know, just kind of relax and breathe and just be herself again. She even talked about, you know, dating and how she has so many men, you know, trying to court her and come for her, you know. So good luck to Wendy on the dating department as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Wendy Williams finally getting out the damn house, honey, to hang out with none other than Black China. So let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.